Hello everybody, this is Mario Sonic Pwn here, and today we're going to be continuing our Let's Play on Sonic Adventure DX. So in the previous video, we're doing cool okay, stuff with Knuckles, did Red Mountain, and defeated Chaos 4. So today we're going to continue on, and I know our next stage is going to be Sky Deck. I do not remember how you the get to for Station everything Square with Knuckles, though, as I haven't soon. played his star story. I mean, I've only played the whole the game once, so... I've only played through each of these stories once, so some of this stuff is sort of I don't remember everything, but you know. The trolley car seems oh, well. to be working. Okay, the trolley. It leads oh. to the jungle. Well then, looks like we're going to the jungle. So yes, just go over here, just if you did with Tail Story, hop into here, and boom. This will take you to the jungle section of Mystic Ruins. Which is actually pretty fun. Um let's see what it's well, right there. Stone statues. Oh, oh I past. forgot. Yeah, Knuckles actually does go to Lost World, doesn't he? Speaking of Lost World, Sonic Lost World was announced, as you know, you probably know if you've been keeping up with all the E3 news, and especially if you're subscribed to my channel, then you've seen me liking, like, I don't know, at least probably 20 or so videos relating to E3 the stuff, to the past. and yeah, Sonic Lost World was obviously announced there, they got lots of cool, um, new features announced for it, but I'll talk about a little more about that as we search for these two stone things, so basically, around, hidden around the jungle, I honestly don't remember where they are. There are two things we need to find, however, one thing I do remember where it is, is if the camera would work with me here. If you climb up this tree, you can only do this with Knuckles. Then, if you go inside, you will find an emblem. Just because it's there, why not get it? Now, um, I have not, by any means, collected all of the emblems in Sonic Adventure DX on my other file. I've collected a, a good number of them, but definitely not all of them. Um, I've got, I don't know, a lot of them. But that's just a really simple one to get. You might as well grab it since it's there. In terms of stone statues, I'm trying to remember where, if if I can remember anything about where they are. I kind of coming up blank right now. I don't remember anything about where the stone statues are. They're they're hidden over the jungle, and I don't remember where they are. This place, a lot of people don't like the jungle because it is kind of confusing. Like it's not. Wait, well, there's one right there. Okay. So I found the first one. I thought one might be here. So we'll take this one back down to the pyramid. And while we're doing this, we'll talk about Sonic Lost World. So basically, at Sonic Lost World, the deal is the gameplay is actually a good bit different than it is in Sonic Generations or Sonic Unleashed, not like that. It actually is a bit more similar to what I'm playing right now, Sonic Adventure. It is not by any means the same, but it is a little bit more similar to Sonic's gameplay in Sonic Adventure. Statues. And um, the door to basically, the, the biggest thing that's different is. Sonic speed is kind of... It, it's been nerfed a little, but it's still quite fast. Like, basically, when you press the analog stick, this is for the Wii U version. I don't I don't know exactly how the 3DS version works. They haven't uh, talked about that too much. But when you press the stick forward on the Wii U version, then Sonic will rock at, like, Mario pace. Then you hold down the trigger, and then he'll run at his normal super speed. You know, he'll go quite fast. And then you hold down both triggers... And then we'll do Spin Dash, which is really, really cool, because they're bringing back the Spin Dash, like from Sonic Adventure, just like here. Um, they're bringing that back, so that's sort of replacing the boost. There's no boost, uh, as far as we can see in the game, there's no boost-type feature. It's all about the Spin Dash, which is really cool. I'm glad they brought the Spin Dash back. It's awesome. And, yeah, it's just the game looks really fun. Um, they've shown the E3 demo has three levels in it. They are still doing the 2D, 3D thing, however... Um, the le first level they showed was all entirely 3D, then the second level they showed was like entirely 2D. Although, obviously, with 3D graphics still. But, um, so they are doing still a 2D, 3D thing, but they're doing it a little more... Not As far as we can see, they're not doing it in between levels, so they could show off a level later that has the like, going back and forth like generations. Where is that silver one? I, I have no clue where the silver one is. I found the gold one, because that was just right up there. But, the silver one... Hey! Whoa, I found a free emblem! Sweet! Okay, I didn't expect that. I didn't even know there was one over there. That is, that is handy. I found a nice one. But, the silver one, I'm trying to think of a likely place for it. Um, there's so much of this jungle that I, very like, there's no place that's likely for it. Maybe in the cave? There is, like, that sand cave that we went to with Tails. That could be something. Um, let's check. Nah, no, nope, not in here. In here? Let's check up here. Alright, hey, look, a diggy spot, though. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, three rings. And, oh, there it is. So I did find it, sweet. Sorry, here it is in here, so we will take that back, and that should open up the doorway to Lost World. 
which is actually a pretty fun stage with Knuckles. Um, basically, this takes one of the rooms from Sonic's version of Lost World and lets you explore it. Which is what I like about this game. It just it takes the other levels, and while it may seem sort of like a little weird with a rehash reuse thing, I don't know. It, it it makes it feel more connected. So I think it's cool. Anyway, this statues. will open up this floor here, the and to the we will fall into. Uh, if it's, it's gonna load here. Oh, there we go. Lost World. So this is a pretty fun stage, and also it's pretty simple. Really, um, you spawn close to the animals almost all the time. It's obviously one right there. It's pretty simple because the room is pretty small. It's not that large of a room to explore, um, so you really shouldn't have too many issues with it. And there might be one up here. Okay, not inside this guy. That's getting farther away. We're gonna go back. Let's see, it's right here. Nope, farther away again. Perhaps up here? It's getting a little more flashy. Basically, yeah, it'll keep flashing and we get uh, yellow if you're really close, and then red if you're super duper close. Let's see if. Let's take a tick out. This way. Okay, so there's one up there, so I'm gonna go climb up there and get that one. That's probably the one it's talking about anyway. Now we're getting close to another one too. Uh, okay, so. Hmm. Oh, whoa! Oh, thanks. Okay, I didn't know that. I actually have it. Nothing. Apparently, flies up from the uh, I can't talk right now. Okay, this way. It's a light. No, not inside that enemy. All right, then. It says I'm running top. Look, it's probably in here. Yeah, that's okay. Yep, there it is. All right, so our last table apparently is around here somewhere. This I way. I say. Yeah. Oh wow, it's straight off. And why are you falling off the walls, Knuckles? Don't, don't fall off the walls. I can't. You, you can't climb any higher. That seems weird. Like, why are you not? That, this is. I guess it's like the edge or something. I don't know. Some weird glitch. Anyway, there is our last emerald. This is a pretty simple stage, completed in about a minute and 40 seconds, so pretty easy. Uh, not a very hard stage at all. <laughs> good pretty good, though. It's not the greatest stage for Knuckles, though. Personally, my favorite Red Mountain. Uh, Red Mountain's a really, really good stage. And now we have Cutscene with Tikal. Whoa, his Isis is in here. <laughs> Where am I? This is very strange. So we just run up here to the Master Emerald Shrine, and we will trigger the next cutscene all about the Master Emeralds and stuff like that. I beg of you, hear me now. My father is coming here soon, and I fear what may happen. You must take everyone away from here. Oh, please. Are you saying you can't leave this place? I understand. Let me talk to my father again. There must be a better way to do this. Don't worry, my friends. I won't let you down. I must do something quickly. I'm back in front of the altar. This is beginning to blow my <laughs> mind. Such a random one. Wait a minute. I remember. The broken pieces of the Master Emerald. I have to restore them to where they belong. Where did those come from? <laughs> you guys wonder, where do these characters in all these video games store this stuff? I mean, they keep collecting it. Where do they store it? They just go, poof, bam, Master Emerald pieces. Wish I could do that. <laughs> I wonder what they do store there. I like. It's like, still incomplete. Sega Logic, I guess? I guess it's like Nintendo Logic, Sega Logic. <laughs> I need to find the remaining pieces, wherever they are. Anyway, we are going to have to end off this part here. 
So thanks everybody for watching this video. Make sure to comment on it, like hey. it, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a part of Let's Play. Oh, and that's where the rest of the pieces must be. But I don't know where that ship is. Isn't that one of Eggman's robots? I know. I'll follow it back to Eggman's base. Here I come, Eggman. So yeah, see you in the next episode when we head off to the Egg Carrier.